friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today is class number 11 of our mental math video series and I will be teaching you how to divide because we haven't tackled division so far. So it's our first class on division and we will start with single digit division that is we are dividing a number by a single digit number. The first thing that you need to do is learn your multiplication facts. You cannot do division in your mind if you do not know your multiplication facts. And for that, practice is the key. Just practice your multiplication tables, your multiplication facts by using flashcards or my multiplication flashcards app and just master it and then you will be ready for division, okay? So why am I saying this? Because division is the opposite of multiplication. So if I have a question, 35, divided by 7. So how can we solve this question? We can solve it by looking at the table of 7 and finding out where 35 comes as an answer in it. Okay, so 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28 and 7 5s are 35. So 5 is our answer because 7 multiplied by 5 is equal to 35. Okay, Let's do another question. 18 divided by 2. Again, look at the table of 2. Remember in your brain where 18 comes in the table of 2. And you will remember that it is 2 multiplied by 9 is equal to 18. So the answer is 9. So you can see that you can find out the answers to your division questions by knowing your multiplication facts. So this is super important, okay? And once you know your multiplication fact, it's easy to do even the longer questions in your brain. So let's tackle some bigger numbers. 87 divided by three. Now the thing with division is that it is already very, very suitable for mental maths. Okay, because we always divide from the left side even when we are doing the long division. Okay, remember long division? So even when we are doing long division, we start from the left hand side and that is what normally our brain does too. Okay, so 87 divided by three, but now we have to do it in our brain. So how are we going to go about it? We are going to look at the first number, which is eight. And as you can see that 8 is greater than 3, so this means it can divide. If it had been less than 3, then we would have needed the 7, which is right next to it. But we don't need it because it is greater than 3. So 8 divided by 3, where in the table of 3 does 8 come? It doesn't come. Okay, so but that's okay. We have to just get as close as possible. So 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So this is pretty close because 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. So we cannot take that. But 6 is good. 6 is good enough. So we're just going to write down 2 here. And this is, remember, this is happening in the brain. And then we have to subtract this 6 in our brain from 8. So 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. And give this 2 to 7, which becomes 27. And now we have to consider 27 and divide it by 3. So 27 divided by 3 is, remember your multiplication table of 3. If we multiply 3 by 9, we get 27. So the answer is 29. Okay, so this is the answer. So this is almost very, very similar to long division, but it's happening totally in your brain. And I will also be teaching you a trick in which you will be doing something not very similar to long division. So, but we will tackle it later. But let's do one more question like that again. So we have a question, 96 divided by four. And we will look at the first number, that is nine. Nine is greater than four, good. So it can be divided. And where in the table of four does nine come? You will quickly do in, in your brain that four times two is equal to eight. And this is very close to nine. And we are not going to be doing four threes are which is 12 because that will be too big. We have to find a number equal to or less than nine, okay? So we find we find it at the number two position, okay? So this becomes a two. 
and we have to subtract this 8 from 9 so 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 and we have to get this give this 1 to, to the 6 so that it becomes 16 and 16 divided by 4 again mental maths mental multiplication at work where does the where does 16 come in the table of 4 4 4 za is equal to 16 so yes the answer is 24 okay and let's do one more question and then I will do the other method of solving these kind of questions. So our question is 119 divided by 7. As you can see, this is a bit complicated. The divisor is bigger and the dividend, the number that you are dividing by the divisor is also not very small. It's a three digit number. So how to go about it? Okay, we are going to look at the first number, which is 1. And now there's a problem because 1 cannot be divided by 7. Remember that the number has to be greater than or equal to the divisor. So we need to give it this 1, 2 and consider them together. Okay. So 11 divided by 7. 7 1 za is equal to 7 and 7 2 za is equal to 14. So the closest number is this one. 7 because 14 will be too big it, it's greater than 11 so we are going to choose 7 ones are 7 okay so we put a 1 here okay and we are going to quickly subtract this 7 from 11 so 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 this is mental subtraction at work 49 and remember that 49 comes in the table of 7 at what point 7 multiplied by 7 is equal to 49. So the answer is 17. Okay. Now let me solve these questions in a slightly different way. We have a question 87 divided by 3. Now another way of solving this question in your brain is that think of in multiples of 10 that come in the table of 3 okay so we know that 3 times 10 is equal to 30 so this is the easiest multiplication fact in the table of 3 and if we start subtracting this 30 from 87 we can break down this question into an easier division problem so 87 minus 30 is 57 okay we are doing mental subtraction and it is very easy to subtract a multiple of 10 because I'm counting backwards in multiples of 10. So I have to count backwards from 87 three times. So 87, 77, 67 and 57. Okay, so we, we have done it once. So just keep a record of this 10 here in your brain that, okay, I've done it, subtracted 30. So 10 threes are, that is three tens are, same thing is 30. Then how about we do it again? 57 minus 30. Again count backwards and we get 27. So remember this 10 in your brain. Okay? Because we have done it one more time. And now look at this problem. This is 27 divided by 3. Now 27 divided by 3 should be handled very easily and much faster by you because it you know your multiplication facts of 3 at least till 10. 9 threes are is 27. 3 nines are is 27. So we can use that. So this is 9. And just add these numbers 10, 20, 29. And we arrive at the same answer that we got by doing division in our brain using the long division method. So let's do another question. 96 divided by 4. We solved it earlier too. We know that 4 times 10 is 40. Okay. So we are going to start subtracting 40s from 96. So 96 minus 40 is equal to what? 56. Okay. We are counting backwards 
in multiples of 10. So 96, 86, 76, 66 and 56. Okay. We can subtract another 40 from it. So 56 minus 40 is equal to 16. Okay. We have to keep a count of all the 10s. So 10 from this 40 and 10 from the second 40. Okay. So now we are at 16. Now we are going to just simply divide 16 by 4 and we get 4. Okay. So this the answer is 4. Okay. Because 4 times 4 is 16. So we just add them and we get 24. And this is our answer. 96 divided by 4 is equal to 24. And let's do one more question. 119 divided by 7. What is 7 multiplied by 10? It is 70. Okay. And we have to make our question smaller, easier. So 119 minus 70 is equal to what? We have to count backwards in multiples of 10 seven times. Okay. So 119, 109, 99, 89, 79, 69, 59 and finally 49. And we have to remember the 10 because we got 10 from 7 multiplied by 10 is equal to 70. So we have to remember that 10 is part of the answer. And then we are left with 49 and 49 divided by 7. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Okay. You have to remember this multiplication fact. So, so we, the answer is 7 and we put it here and this is our final answer 119 divided by 7 is equal to 70. So in this class we have used two methods of doing mental division and before I wrap up the class I want to tell you about a cool trick when we are dividing by 5 okay. So we have a question 85 divided by 5. You can multiply 85 by what number? By 2 okay. So you, are, you will multiply 85 by 2 and then you will divide the question by 10. Actually what is happening is that when you are multiplying this number by 2 to make the answer correct, you are actually multiplying 5 by 2, 2. So this becomes a 10 okay, and this becomes 170. So this answer and this answer will be the same because it is actually the same question and we have just multiplied both numbers by 2. So 170 divided by 10 is very very easy. You just get rid of the 0. So 17. Okay that is the answer. Let's do one more question. 285 divided by 5. Okay now remember that we have to multiply this number by 2. Okay and then we have to divide it by 10 to get the answer to this question. So quickly do it in your brain. 285 multiply by 2. What is the answer to, th to this question? It is 570. You need to know your mental multiplication. Okay. So it's 570 and now we just need to divide 570 by what number? 10 and this is 57. This is our answer. So you can use this neat trick when you're dividing by the number 5. Okay. So I hope that you like this class and you understood the few methods that I taught you. So practice your mental maths and you can use my mental maths app for practicing th these kind of questions and you can use my multiplication flashcards app for mastering your multiplication facts because that is super important. You cannot do mental division if you don't know your multiplication facts at least till the table of 12. I would recommend that you know them till the table of 16 but 12 are a must. Okay. Okay. So don't stop at the table of 10. Please learn them at least till the table of 12. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Please share it with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so. Have a good day and goodbye.